Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to give God praise for this day. He has made us enjoy and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the Mount, everybody. Are you glad to be here? Amen. 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 The psalmist says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Won't you open up your hearts this morning? Won't you open up the gates of your heart and enter into his courts with thanksgiving and praise? Won't you stand on your feet and give the Lord praise this morning? Come on, hallelujah. Tell the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Thank you for keeping me. Thank you for bringing me. Hallelujah. Thank you for your presence this morning. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As you remain standing, just for a moment here, I'm just so glad that the, you're here, and we're glad that those who are tuning in uh, by Facebook and YouTube, there are some who are not comfortable yet coming back into the church building, and we understand that. We're not pointing any finger or blaming anybody, but we're glad that you've joined us this morning. And we pray that as we worship together, that you will tune in and you will tune up for he who is worthy to be praised. Amen? Amen. 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 At this time, our praise team will lead us in a song, and we want you to join in. Don't sit as spectators. Everybody join in, and let's worship the Lord. Amen. Following that, we have prayer by Deacon Andrew Johnson. Your prayers. 
Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Yes. Would you please bow with me and let us pray. Most holy and everlasting Father, Lord, we come to thee this morning. Lord, we come to just say thank you. Thank you. Father, because you woke us up this morning, and there are many who did not wake this morning. And Lord, we give you thanks and praise. Thank you. And Lord, we come now asking you to be in the midst of this worship service this morning. Bless our pastor as he delivered the word. Lord, let the word go forth and touch hearts and minds and draw men and women, boys and girls to thee. And bless our praise team, Lord. Let them continue to lift up the word of Jesus through song. Yes. And Lord, bless Mount Zion yes. and all churches throughout the world. Lord, be with the ministers and the pastors. Yes. Let them do what you would have them to do. Yes. Lord, we love you, we adore you, and we can't do nothing without you. Yes. Father, thank you for being our father yes. and having us as your children. We love you and ask you to forgive us for our sins yes. and bless everyone, everywhere. Yes. Lord, you know what their needs are. Yes. Bless them, yes. Father. Yes. Bless this worship service. Let it be glorious. Mm. And we give you all the praise yes. and all the glory. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. 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 If it had not been for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be? I want to know. Where would I be if it had not been for the scripture reading today and I hope that you have your Bibles, I hope you have your smart devices, your tablets or whatever. Amen. Believers ought to carry their weapon, their, their guidebook, their, their road map. Amen. 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 And now, now, you know, back in the day when I got ready to go on a trip, I would go by AAA or I'd call them and ask them to send me that, that trip tick and, and map out the road 
trip for me. Amen. They told me every stop and, and places to stop to eat and all those kinds of things. And, and, and if I didn't do that, I would have some maps, South Carolina map, Eastern Coast map in my glove compartment. Amen. 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 Because I didn't want to get lost. Amen. 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 So my point is that Christians should always have the word with them. Amen. Either in your heart, yeah. on your phone, or you ought to carry a Bible. Amen. You come to church now. Amen. If I say something, I want you to look it up. Right. Amen. Don't just sit there and look in my mouth. Amen. But look in the book. Amen. Amen. Our scripture, though, is from the book of Colossians. Colossians, the third chapter. New Testament, Colossians, the third chapter. Amen. And beginning at the 12th verse, these are the words of the Lord. If you don't mind, would you please stand again? Colossians, the third chapter, beginning at the 12th verse. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, Put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all these, put on love, yes. which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to which you were called in one body and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And whatever you do, yes. in word or deed, yes. do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes. Giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. Yes. Wives, submit to your own husbands mm -hmm. as Amen. is fitting in the Lord. Amen. Husbands, love your wives yes, yes. and do not be bitter mm -hmm. towards them. Mm -hmm. Children, oh, yes. obey your parents oh, yes. in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Fathers, do not provoke your children right, lest they become mm -hmm. discouraged. Right, Bond servants, Obey in all things your master mm -hmm. according to the flesh, yes. not with eye service mm -hmm. as men pleasers, but in sincerity of heart, fearing God. Mm -hmm. And whatever yes. you do, yes, do it heartily yes. as to the Lord yes. and not to men, yes. knowing yes. that from the Lord, you will receive the reward of the inheritance. For you serve the Lord Christ. Yes. Amen. 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 But he who does wrong will be repaid for what he has done. And there is no partiality. Amen. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Colossians, the third chapter, verses 12 through 25. May the Lord add a blessing to our hearing in our ears and our hearts and applying it to our lives. Amen. You may be seated. Nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody. 
to our souls. Amen. 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 Praise the name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, praise team. Amen. And these godly women who uh, cover their ministry with prayer and cover their pastor with prayer and cover uh, our worship service with prayer. We're grateful to God for uh, their ministry and their faithfulness. Amen. 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 This is the second Sunday in the month of August 2022. And um, as with uh, most of the children across the nation in South Carolina, uh, here in Orangeburg County, uh, our children will be returning to school Amen. soon. Amen. 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 And so today we have designated as Back to School Sunday. Amen. Amen. We have a few of you here today, not uh, as many as normal, and that's probably possibly because of COVID, amen. But if you are at home, uh, parents, uh, mom, dad, grandparents, guardian, whoever, grab the children, shake them, wake them up, and bring them and, and let them tune in today for the Lord uh, has uh, a word for our children as we uh, go back to school, amen. In fact, I worked with Richard on School District 1, and I returned to work on Thursday, amen. 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 And children come on Tuesday. I understand that you were supposed to go back here in Orangeburg on tomorrow, but because of the water damage, it'll be Wednesday. Is that correct? Yes. Amen, amen. All right, well, let us, let us bow our heads in prayer. Lord God, our Father, we thank you and how we praise you for being the Lord, our creator, who made us and know all about us. Thank you that you have kept us from our earliest existence here on this planet and that your plans for us are good there to prosper us and to bless us and to give us a hope and a future. Thank you that you're not a sadistic God who sits on the throne and pokes and torments us, but you love us with an everlasting love. And you are desirous that all of us would come to know you by the hard and free pardon of our sins through the blood of Jesus Christ. So as our creator, as our sustainer, as our loving father through salvation, we come to you today asking that you would speak to our hearts and speak to children, young and old, that we might hear your loving fatherly voice and we might be instructed, we might be equipped, we might be convicted and challenged to follow you more closely and devotedly, and to make you known. Yes. Anoint us now, this is our prayer, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen, amen, From the passage of scripture, which was read earlier, uh, Colossians, the third chapter, we read verses 12 uh, through tw the end of the chapter, I want to lift up uh, verse 23 and 24 of the third chapter of Colossians, verse 23 and 24. These are the words of the Apostle Paul. I, wonderful follower of Christ and, and uh, servant of the Lord who established many churches and wrote uh, uh, two-thirds probably of the New Testament. Amen. And he's writing as he has instructed about 
who we are in Christ. He tells us how we should conduct ourselves as Christians. Are you hearing me? See, I can tell you that you are a member of the church. That's one thing. But you need to know how to conduct yourself as a member of the church. Paul says you are believers, you're saints, you're born again, you're, you're on your way to heaven, but you need to know how to conduct yourself as a follower of Christ. And he says in the 23rd verse, whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord. And not to men, not, not as if you're doing it to men, but do it heartily as if you're doing it to the Lord. Knowing that from the Lord, you will receive the reward, the reward of the inheritance, blessings that God has bestowed and, and waiting for you. For you serve the Lord Christ. Amen. Amen. There's only one, Amen. the Lord Christ. Yes. Amen. And I and I guess in beginning this message, we have to, might need to start at the end before you start at the beginning because it makes all the difference as a child of God when you know the Lord Christ. Amen. Amen. A lot of what I'm going to say this morning may not mean anything to you. You may not be able to do it unless you know the Lord Christ. But just for a while, just a little while, I want to talk about a, a, really a question. What time is it? What time is it? Don't look at your watch. Don't look at your smart device. What time is it? What time is it? If, if uh, I ask the older generation, <laughs> and it's kind of funny now when I think about the older generation because what I thought was the older generation, now I'm the older generation. <laughs> and, and the children, uh, they, they see their parents as the older generation. Amen. Amen. But if you ask the older generation, and the generation I'm talking about is the, those who who were uh, young adults in the 90s, teenagers, and that's, that's the whole. <laughs> if you ask them what time it is, they might say it's hammer time. And, and, and MC hammer. And you can't touch this. Too legit to credit, that's right. right. Uh, if you ask uh, black Baptists, Baptist folk time, people what time it is, they might say it's preaching time. Yeah. But since I'm talking to the young folk who will be going back to school, if I ask you what time it is, you'll probably say it's back to school time. Uh -huh. On Wednesday, uh, uh, you'll be going back to school, and if you are like I was, whether it was in kindergarten, elementary, middle school, or high school, I usually got a little bit excited when it was time to go back to school. I see somebody shaking their head. No. I was excited, and that's to be expected because you, 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 you don't know what's, what to expect in the new year. Amen, somebody. Amen. How many scenes do we have here today? Uh, I know we got one upcoming scene. Amen, class of 2023. You ought to be excited. Right. You ought to be feeling pretty good as you anticipate crossing the line. But no matter what grade you're in, some of you may be wishing that it was still summer uh -huh. and that you uh, could have just a little bit more, just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit more free time. Uh -huh. uh, but what time is it? It's, it's back to school time. Uh, when, when, when I ask my kids uh, in the past what type of back to school sermon they thought I ought to preach 
on Back to School Sunday, the answer was the same. And it was unanimous. The answer was short. I said, I shouldn't have asked that question. But since uh, you're different from my kids, <laughs> no, no. But if you tune in, if you listen, I, 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 I will do my best to be short. After service, after service, you'll be receiving from the church some school book bags and some school supplies that have been coordinated so wonderfully and beautifully by our Church Life Enrichment Committee. Uh, young women uh, from uh, uh, the church, uh, Sister Claire Johnson, Sister Vernell Gamble, and others. I don't know all that, but, but they have worked hard to, to gather nice book bags and supplies for you to take to school. But I want to advise you, uh, my young brothers and sisters, uh, to take uh, some other things that won't be in your book bag. Uh -huh. uh, the, these things they could not purchase at Walmart or Amen. could not purchase at Target. They could not get them online. Now, they couldn't order them from Amazon.com. But if you take them to school with you, I guarantee you that they will help you in the school year. Amen. They will help you. It's as easy as A, B, C. A, B, C, A, B, C. Uh, just all you need, if you want to remember the sermon, just remember the title, what time is it, and A, B, C. A in your book bag. A, if you take it with you, A stands for the right attitude. The right attitude. For the scripture text says, and whatever you do, whatever you do. You see, some people have attitudes. But they have the wrong kind of attitude. Can I get a witness? Amen. They have a whatever attitude. And listen, uh, you can say whatever more than one kind of way. Amen? Amen. If you, it depends on your attitude. Uh, when, when you say whatever, you might be saying huh, whatever. Or you can say Whatever. You meaning that you are willing to do whatever it takes. Amen. 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 Attitude, my young brothers and sisters, and older brothers and sisters, is a little thing that makes a big difference. Uh-huh. You've, you've heard it before. I'll say it again that attitude determines your altitude. In other words, your, your attitude determines how high you go. What and how much you achieve. Uh, how well you get along with other folk. How you start and how you finish. Attitude helps determine whether you'll be happy or whether you'll be sad and bored. Attitude, your attitude is so important. That's why the Bible says in Proverbs 4, 23, keep your heart, guard your heart with all diligence for out of your heart, at your heart where your emotions and your, your, your will and your attitude are, out of your heart springs the issues, the things that matter in life. The New Living Translation says it this way, guard your heart above all else for it determines your course in life. Course that, that the path, the stream that you're on, your attitude determines that, brothers and sisters. And, and Proverbs 23, verse 7 says, For as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So if you have a negative attitude, you're going to be negative, and probably what you will get is negative. Am I right about it? Joseph, Joseph, one, one of the characters, favorite characters in the Bible, had a positive attitude. 
Hallelujah, somebody. He faced a lot of obstacles. He was, he was disliked by his own family. He was sold into slavery. Amen. He was in prison. He was serving in, in somebody's household as a slave. He was falsely accused, thrown into prison, helped folk in prison, had a positive attitude, forgotten about in prison, but yet God looked out for him. Hallelujah, somebody. He had the right attitude. Amen, somebody. Young David, David, when he started out, he had a right attitude. He had a courageous attitude. While everybody else was scared, were trembling because of Goliath, David had a positive attitude. He said, I'll go out and fight. I'll stand up for the Lord. That's the right attitude, somebody. Daniel had the right attitude. He, he said, I'm not going to eat from the king's table. I'm not going to go along with everybody else. But I'll do what God has commanded. And the Lord... Bless an attitude, brothers and sisters. Amen. Listen, don't go to school with a negative attitude, Josh. Uh, I, I don't want to go to school. I don't like my teacher. I don't like to wear a uniform. I don't. I don't. I, I don't want to. My. I don't like my assigned seat. Uh, this is too much work. Too early. You can have a negative attitude. Listen, listen, listen. If you go to school and carry a negative attitude, you're going to have a negative experience. Yes. Have a positive attitude. Why? Because it helps you socially. It helps you to get along with people. Negative people have trouble getting along with other folks. Do I have a witness? Uh, Foster's Law. Foster's Law says the only people who find what they are looking for in life are the fault finders. Uh -huh. It helps you socially. It helps you academically. It helps you if you have good uh, attitude. It helps you to uh, have good grades. You, if you, you start with a good attitude, you'll work hard. You'll stay on course. Yeah, see, if you think you can't, then you won't. Ah, uh, help me, Holy Spirit. Uh, it'll help you personally, not just socially and academically. It'll help you personally. A positive attitude helps you to you think and feel good about yourself. Huh? Pull up your pants. Take your hat off. Stand up straight. Don't slouch in your seat. Uh, yeah, if, if, it doesn't, if it doesn't help you uh, 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 personally, it'll help you uh, uh, physically. Yeah. Amen. All that exercise, pull up your pants, take off your hat. <laughs> Straighten up. Amen. Listen, you are somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, Elena and Lacey, you are beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You are bright. Yeah. You are blessed. You are the blood bought, born again. You are somebody. And I say this to my young sisters. You don't need some dude to tell you who you are. You, you don't even need them to tell you you pretty, you cute. Because you are. Now, now, now don't, don't get it twisted and go thinking that you all stuck up and all of that. But you are beautiful already because God has wonderfully made you. You are somebody. Your parents know that you and tell you you are somebody. You don't need an affirmation from some, somebody with other uh, mo arterial motives. You are somebody. And if you don't like something at school, work to change it. And if you can't change it, change the way you think about it. Have a good attitude. What time is it? What time is it? It's time for a right attitude. The only difference, brothers and sisters, between good, a good day and a bad day is your attitude. Wherever you go, no matter 
What the weather? Always take your own sunshine. Amen, somebody. Have a good attitude. But then, that's A, but then there is B. B. Be your best. Be your best. And the text says, whatever you do, do it heartily. Do, do it heartily. This year, don't just get by. Don't just slide through. Don't just be satisfied to be mediocre. Don't accept average. Be the best. And, and another word for, for being the, doing your best is excellence. Excellent. Booker T. Washington said, excellence is doing a common thing in an uncommon way. Today, too many folks settle for average. Uh, average on the job, average being an average teacher, being an average parent, being an average church member, being an average pastor, being an average student. My parents taught me that anything worth doing is worth doing right. Now, I, I have to confess, I have to admit that I've tried to be average. I, I would try, and that's not saying I'm, I'm, the, I'm the best at everything, but I, I tried to be average. And in, my, in my chores, I just, I just want to get it done. Uh, in my schoolwork, I just want to pass. Uh, in, in the church, I just wanted to be there and say I went to church. Am I right about it? Uh, I was trying to be average at everything except for sports. I wanted to be the best at sports. But, but, when I tried to be average, my parents said, do it over. How many, how many nights where I was comfortable, warm under the covers? They jerked those covers off, get up and do it again. Do those dishes right. Sweep that floor right. Get them, put your clothes on top. Make that bed up, make it up right. Don't just cut that grass anyway with all those weeds sticking up. Go down the line, nigga, or something. <laughs> Have some pride about what you're doing. I might not have been the best, but I was my best. And God requires and deserves our best. This, this, is a, this is not just for children. This is for adults. The Bible says, whatever you do, do it heartily, Sister Gladys, as to the Lord and not to men. 1 Corinthians 10, 31 says, and whether you eat or drink, that's down to the nitty gritty because you're going to eat and drink, right? Whatever you do, do it to the glory of God. Ecclesiastes 9, 10 says, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might. Amen. For there is no work, no thought, no knowledge, or wisdom in the grave where you're going. And all of us are going. Amen. Galatians 6, 9 says, let us not be weary in well doing. You see, see, we have a pattern. Some, some have a pattern. I'll do it right this time, but next time I'm going to pull the rug up and sweep it under the rug. <laughs> but don't be weary in well doing. For if at the proper time you will reap if you don't give up. In other words, do your best. Do your best. And don't get tired of doing it because it'll pay off in the long run. Can I get a witness? It may not be easy, but it'll be worth it after a while. So, 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 attitude A, uh, have the right attitude, and B, be your best. But what time is it? It's time to concentrate. C, concentrate. For, for the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 7 said, God has given us a sound mind, a, a good mind, and, and so this year we need to concentrate. We need to focus on the right thing. God has given us the mind, and we need to be focused. 
Whatever you do, do it heartily and to the Lord. That's where the focus is, on the Lord and not to men. Right. Don't get caught up in concentrating on clothes. Yeah. Right. Right. Don't, don't get caught up in concentrating on the cliques, this little, this little group and that little group. Don't get caught up concentrating on the cafeteria. What's, what's for lunch? Don't get caught up in, in concentrating on clowning. Don't, don't, don't get caught up in concentrating on not getting caught. Don't get caught up in compromising to the negative influence. Stay focused. Apostle Paul said in Philippians 3.13, my friend, I, I, I really do not think that I've already arrived. I, I know I haven't gotten there yet. But the one thing I do, however, is I forget what's behind me and I do my best to reach what's ahead of me. I, I focus on my goal. I, I, I'm pressing. I, I'm running straight towards the goal to win the prize, which is God's call through Christ Jesus who, in my life. Hallelujah, somebody. Consecrate. Stay focused. On the prize of good grades. Huh? Of having a good reputation. You, you, you have to focus on that. See, one bad decision can mess up your reputation. Do I have a witness, somebody? Huh? Some, some decisions might follow you most of your life. Or the Lord will forgive you. You, you graduate from high school, but some things will follow you. Folks say, oh, you remember when they were in high school, they did such and such a thing. Amen. Focus on good representation of your parents. You not only represent your parents, mm -hmm. yourself, but you represent your, your, your family. You represent your, your parents. Mm -hmm. You represent the church. Amen. But most of all, I say most of all, you represent the Lord. Yeah. 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 I, I say this. I, I say this to to the saved children and the yet to be saved children. Uh -huh. Because if, if 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 the parents are raising you in a godly way, uh -huh. what thus said the Lord, yeah. Yeah. you are God's inheritance. Uh -huh. That's what the Bible, the Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. They belong to God. You, you're God's children. And, and parents are raising them, raising you, so that you can come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. You grow up. You, God bless you with children. And you raise the next batch of children. The next heritage for the Lord. Hallelujah. You represent the Lord. Yeah. So whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. Why? Because verse 24 says, knowing that from the Lord, from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. For you serve the Lord Christ. So do your best. Do your best. When you are a student, whether you're a teacher, whether you are a janitor, bus driver, cafeteria worker, do your best. Yeah. Do your best. Yeah. Whether you're parent, grandparent, guardian, whoever you are, yeah, do your best. Don't get weary yeah. in well-doing. Yeah. Invest and do your best because yeah. after a while, yeah. it's going to pay off. Yeah. Do your best. Do your best as a servant of God. Witnessing and telling others about a Savior who died on Calvary to save those who are lost. This world is not all there is. This world is going to burn up one day. But I'm glad that we serve a Savior. And after a while, it's going to be payday. After a while, when we serve the Lord, when we have done the best and giving of our service. Yeah. Of telling the world that a Savior lives. Yeah. 
He will reward us. Dr. King. Dr. King once said, if a man is called to be a sweet streamer, he should sweep streets even as Michelangelo painted. Sweep them and even as Beethoven composed music. Sweep them even as Shakespeare wrote plays. He should sweep so well that heaven's hosts will stop what they're doing in heaven. Pause and say, here is a great street sweeper who did his job well. And my young brothers and sisters, your work may be tedious. Your work may be hard. You may have a teacher. You may have an employer, older folk, who doesn't appreciate you. And you may not be paid what you're worth. But don't you quit. Don't you give up. Just remember that you're working for the Lord. Folk might not appreciate you on your job. They may never say thank you. They may never say good job. You may never get a, a, a dinner, a banquet, or a watch, or a plaque. But you're not working for that. You're not working for that. I'm, I'm not working for your applause. I'm working for the master, my maker and master. Hallelujah, somebody. Because one day, I'm going to stand before him. You're going to stand before him. Won't matter what I say. Won't matter what you say. But it's what he said. And I want to hear him say, well done. Well done. You did good. You were a good student. You were a good parent. You were a good worker. You were a good church member. You are a good pastor. I want to hear him say, well done. Good and faithful servant. Hallelujah. Y'all think that's all? Now that's not all. Because after he says, well done, he'll say, enter. Enter what? Enter into the gate. Enter into my seat. Sit down at the welcome table. I got a banquet. I got a feast prepared for you. You're going to drink from that everlasting water. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. What time is it? What time is it? It's time to serve the Lord. I guess that's all I'm trying to say. It's time, not just to go back to school. It's time to serve the Lord with the right attitude by being your best and by staying focused on him. Be committed. Be committed. Time is winding up. Hallelujah, somebody. It's time to get your mind right. Time to get your heart right. Time to get your life right. What time is it? The time is now. Right now. Now to repent. Because the truth be known, a lot of us haven't done what we should do the way we should have done it. Time to repent. Time to return. You might have strayed and gone off course all summer long, but time to get back right. Time to return and time to renew yourself in the Lord. What time is it? Hallelujah. Time to serve the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. If when you give the best of your service of telling the world the Savior come. Don't be dismayed if friends don't believe. He'll understand and say well done. Hallelujah somebody. 
So, don't let yourself be conformed to this world. When you go to school, see, they're going to try to conform you to the way that they say, the way that they do things. Your friends I'm talking about, okay? Uh, and, and, and so we're cussing. We're all in this circle cussing. What are you doing? Are you going to curse? you going to go along with that? We're running around being fast and cute. What are you, you going to do? I know I'm going to be who I am in Christ. All, all the guys are doing this, man. Come on. What are you going to do? What you going to do, John? What, what are you going to do? You going to be a chicken? Oh, you one of those church of chickens, huh? No, I'm courageous. That's what I am. I'm courageous for Christ. On Christ the Son of God's name. All of the ground is sinking sand. Can you say it with me? All of the ground is sinking sand. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you and we praise you for your word. We thank you for speaking to our heart. Thank you for giving us another chance. We, we fall short of your glory, even in our best efforts. But we thank you for being a God of another chance. And thank you that you have spared these young people. You have kept them through the summer. You've kept them through COVID. Kept them through a COVID year last year. You brought them to this year. Now they have the opportunity to go back and to represent. May they represent you, Lord. Not represent themselves only, but, but represent you. Strengthen them. Anoint them, oh God. Cover them. I pray for each one of them. Our young, beautiful daughters. Keep them, oh God. Let them not fall for the tricks and schemes of the enemy. Keep them, oh God. Let them know who they are. May they be affirmed by their parents, their fathers, their mothers. May they be confident in who they are and who they are in you as a believer. We pray, oh God, for our young men. That we help them to not look at the negative at their role model. But the godly men of this church and in the community who are living, taking care of their families, treating their wives and their families right. Oh God, help them. Help them to know that, all of them to know that to learn and to excel is not crazy, but it's really dope. As the children say, it's dope. It's the right thing. It's the right thing to do. And bless them, oh God. To excel. Focus, help them to focus on their study. Help them to persevere when they're tired. Help them to be willing to go it alone when others want to go and do something else. May their learning environment be conducive. Teachers may be encouraging. And even when everybody else is cutting up, help them to do what's right. We pray for their teachers. Lord, so many teachers want to teach. But they face various obstacles. You know the challenge. Bless them, oh God. Give them the heart to trust you and to do their best for you. Help them to be patient with their students. Help them to balance discipline with love and encouragement and being merciful. May they be supplied with what they need. We pray for the bus drivers, the cafeteria workers, the, the, the janitors. We pray for the administrators. All who are concerned with education. Oh God, cover them and bless them. May it be a good year despite what the forces that come against us. Oh God, cause us to excel in your name. Bless the parents now. They, they, they face challenges as well. They get weary as well. But supply all of their needs. 
according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Thank you. Now, Lord, we pray for those who are sick among us. We pray for Sister Rosa. We pray for Brother Wilbur. We pray for others whose names escape my mind at this time. But God, you know their condition. We thank you that you are a very present help in the time of need. Touch with your holy healing hand. Heal their bodies and most of all, heal their spirits and mind. Help them to wait on you. Give them the grace they need. And we pray for those whose hearts are broken through bereavement, saddened, stunned, and grieving. But, Lord, you are comfortable. Comfort them. Walk with them. Stand by them. Supply what they need. God, have your way. Thank you for Mount Zion. Thank you for each man. Bless this church that we might continue to do your will and bring glory to your name and all other churches in the name of Jesus. We thank you now. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Put your hands together and give God glory that he deserves. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. All of our school children, just stand up for a moment. We want to make sure we, we see all of you today. Amen. 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 We want to thank you for being present today. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being present. You may be seated. Amen. And uh, I want you to know that uh, if you have any concerns, anything you want to talk to your pastor, me, about, or first lady, uh, Sister Vanessa, don't 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 think that you can't call us. Don't, I was young once too. Amen. 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 And uh, I am here to pray for you. I'm praying, but you might want a special prayer. Mm -hmm. huh? Say, I I I I want you to pay for me, Pastor. And I'll pray for you. Amen. I'm not too busy to pray for you. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. God bless you. It's the same with the parents. Amen. Don't think that you are in this alone. Amen. Amen. You have a, a pastor, you have a church family, and we're praying for you. Amen. Amen. I want to thank all who have joined us on Facebook and YouTube today. We pray that you've been blessed by the word. We pray that uh, if it spoke to you or caused you to think about somebody, that you'll share this message. You'll like it and you'll, you'll share it with others. Uh, they may still be asleep right now, but wake them up and when they get up, say, I need you to hear this before you go back to school. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise God.